Hi everyone, uh, thanks for tuning in to uh, the CFPB WAD series. I um, just want to thank you all for your comments, your feedback, and um, please you know, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and uh, keep watching because we have a lot of good stuff coming up. Uh, welcome back from your Thanksgiving weekend. I hope you had a great time with family or friends or uh, laying low, whatever you got a chance to do. Uh, we are back in the grind here at CFPV and I wanna just dive right in. A couple of weeks ago, we talked about um, laying out an outline for creating a meal plan for the week and some of the items that you can um, create that with based on our proteins, our carbs, and our fat. So next is creating a detailed shopping list and actually doing the shopping. Um, I think any time that we can make our life simpler and more easy, we want to do that. And the same goes for nutrition. Before um, I create a grocery list, I think about, um, I know this is going to sound crazy, but I think about the grocery store I'm going to and I, I plan out my route. And again, I know you're probably thinking, that's intense, Laura. I've got to like, you know, walk a certain way in the grocery store. But honestly, if you have an idea of where things are placed in your grocery store that you go to, and your grocery list kind of um, goes in line with those sections, you can get in there, go through the grocery store and get on your way quickly, easy, and move on with your life. So we wanna do that. Um, now I know that not everybody shops at the same place, but I'm gonna kinda show you a general outline of the fries and PV. I think a lot of people um, you know, probably go in there and at least stop in every now and again. Um, but again, wherever you shop, take a couple minutes, think about where things are placed, and then we'll base your grocery list based on that um, outline. So um, the fries and PV kind of looks like this. Um, we've got our, this is my, this is my good drawing skills. Um, but over here we have, whoops, that's kind of weird. Um, milk products, um, there's like beauty items over to the left, kids products, and then moving, for, uh, moving to the other side are eggs, um, cheese, then we get into meats. Um, we don't need to know about this, this is like the bakery aisle, no. Um, and then as you continue on, you've got your fruits and your veggies kind of on this side. Fruits, veggies, and then you have all your center aisles. Now you've probably heard a lot of times when you're starting to eat a little healthier, choose better options, you should shop on the perimeter of your grocery store and avoid the middle aisles. The middle aisles are usually the places that you'll find processed foods, packaged items, a lot of sugary treats. So if you can avoid those areas as best as possible, that's gonna give you more success. And again, as you see, most of the good healthy products, your meats, your fruits and veggies, some of your dairy, uh, milks, almond milk are on the perimeter. And if you choose um, to do canned items or uh, maybe frozen veggies, those are still right around this kind of central area uh, where your meats would be too. So whether you have fresh or frozen, they're kind of in the same general area. Um, <clears throat> and then the only thing I didn't mention would be things like rice, um, oatmeal, almond butter. And I'll show you kind of a way out on how to um, create your grocery list so that you're not going back and forth. But again, those are gonna be kind of on the um, outsides of most of the aisles in fries at least. Okay, so that gives you kind of a general idea. Now based on this, I'm gonna create my grocery list. So looking back at what we created two weeks ago, um, you know, you'll notice that we uh, based our items on our proteins, our carbs and our fats, and then kind of based out our five day meal plan. Um, so based on that, and then um, on our outline of our grocery store, we're gonna start with our list. And the first item that we had were eggs. And that's a good place to start, because if you go in the grocery store, especially at Fry's, come in, go all the way to the far end, and here's your first stop is eggs. So we're gonna start with eggs. 
And then um, continuing on, if we look at our list, you'll notice we have Greek yogurt down. So again, we can just continue on the aisle. Um, Greek yogurt. And then our next stop would be our proteins or our, our meats. And again, whether you choose fresh or frozen, they're all in the general, generally the same area. You're either going to go left for the butcher or the fresh uh, meats, or you're going to go to the frozen section. Um, but either way, they're in the same area. Um, and we had salmon, chicken, and ground turkey. So before moving on to the perimeter of the aisle, we want to look at um, some of the things that we were going to make. Um, you'll notice we had rice down there. We also had put olives in our fat. Now those are going to be in um, some of those center aisles, and they're also close to where the meat products are. So before you get into the veggies and the fruit, you're going to want to make a couple pit stops, and you're going to want to grab those items. So we'll put rice and olives. Um, after that, a quick dodge in those center aisles, grab those things. We're going to continue on to our uh, veggies, fruits and veggies. Again, you're going to be as specific as you need to be. If you simply put fruits and veggies down and in your head you know, that's great. I'm not that way. I, I outline pretty much everything that I'm going to need. So I'm going to put, um, I know we had sweet potatoes. We're going to do spaghetti on, on, I think, our meal on Friday. So we're going to need a spaghetti squash. And then I know we did a lot of salads, grilled um, chicken salad and I think a salmon salad. So I'm going to need spinach, cucumbers, um, maybe some tomatoes, any additional um, veggies you might want in your salad. Um, we also had um, specific fruits, bananas and apples specifically. Um, so I'm going to put bananas, apples, um, I'll put berries down. I think we had that on there. Berries. And that kind of gives you a general idea of what you're going to need. Um, the other thing that we had put down for our fat was avocado, so we need to make sure we put that down. And again, um, we're going to kind of look back at the different meals that we wanted to make and make sure that we have all of the things that we need, but we'll get there in just a second. We're just going to um, base this on the ingredient list that we had created. Um, so we've got our general um, fruits and veggies that we needed. And um, oh, the other thing I didn't mention was cashews and almonds. Those can be found in the, um, the fruit and veggie section of the grocery store too. Um, so you can put those here because we had cashews. So once you're done with that area, you're pretty much ready to go with the exception of a couple items, oatmeal and almond butter being two of the ones we had on our list. And if you're in Fry specifically and you're going down and all the checkouts are on your left hand side, you just make a quick like a really quick dodge in the cereal idle, and there's your oatmeal and your almond butter. So again, you can just kind of grab those things and on your way you go. So oatmeal. Okay, so that gives us the basic outline of um, the exact items we needed to create the meals. Now we just want to go in and get any filler items. And again, that's going to be things that, um, like on the chicken chili, if you want to add um, maybe jalapenos or some different vegetables or you need chicken stock or you know stewed tomatoes or something like that you're going to want to add those things in after but you're going to want to do it in the same um, general idea or way that we've created this so um, things like canned items are going to be around the rice and the olive area so you're going to want to list those items here um, if you're going to put almond milk or cashew milk in your oatmeal you're going to want to put that up here. So you want to kind of take stock of what you have in your kitchen, um, what you may need. So just for our purposes and for um, going to the grocery store, I'll write in some of the things that I might need for my chicken chili, um, the turkey burgers, things like that, um, which would be stewed tomatoes. We'll put jalapenos. I don't know how to spell that. Um, let's see here. Oh, zucchini, because I like to put zucchini in everything. So I'm going to put that up here. Onions, and then chicken stock too. I need chicken stock. That kind of that that should be pretty pretty adequate as far as what you're going to need to create the different meals that we had gone over. Um, the last step would be, well, there's two steps. Um, finding out how much you're going to need for your family. So this is based on like one person. So I know for me, it's Kevin and I and our two boys. If I'm doing the ground turkey um, taco seasoned meat, one pound of ground turkey is not going to go far in our household. So I'm going to be using ground turkey for that and the turkey burgers and I want leftovers. So for our family, I might need 
three pounds of ground turkey. That might seem like a lot, but my boys eat a lot. So you're gonna have to base the quantity on what your family size is and know how much you eat and then also how much you eat in a setting. So um, you're gonna wanna go back and say, okay, I'm gonna need three pounds of ground turkey. Oops. Chicken is the same way. Um, maybe you're gonna do frozen bags of chicken. That's kind of sometimes a good way to go. So you're gonna wanna get two bags of chicken or maybe there's a sale. Um, just kind of look through our you know, meal plan and then how much you need for your family, but this would be the time to go back and make sure. And again, with like sweet potatoes and all that, I would, I would say write a number down so that you know you're not cutting it short. And on Friday, remember we have our leftovers, so if you happen to buy a little extra, you can always use it on that Friday lunch. And then the second thing before you finish your grocery list is any additional items that you might need like for your family. Because if you can avoid like wandering around the grocery store and kind of going in and out and, oh, do I need this? Do we have this? If you can avoid doing that, your life is going to be so much simpler. You want to get in the grocery store, get your stuff, and move on with your life. So this would be the time to go back and say, do I need anything additional for my kids or um, shampoos or anything like that that you might need so that you have a complete grocery list before you go to the store.